A big movement is coming in the crypto market, in my opinion, probably within the next two or three weeks here, and I want to make sure that when this move does happen, that the majority of the people who do watch my channel, my followers, and those of you who do support me, don't get, you know, you don't buy into the hype, you don't buy into the move, as recently we have seen that there have been these big price movements up and down, but overall it's been general consolidation, because one thing that I have noticed is that when we see this up and this down, and this up and this down, and we're trading kind of just sideways, everyone's starting to get frustrated, because they're saying, oh my goodness, I thought this was the breakout, I thought this was the breakout, I thought this was the breakout. Out. And over time, that accumulation of just thinking something's a breakout, thinking the price is finally going to get moving, and it's not, does get very frustrating. And I don't want people to get discouraged thinking that they're bad traders or anything of that nature, right? So what we're going to be talking about today is the big move, the thing that you know, the things that are giving me an anticipation that a big move is coming, and what I need to say, you know, what I need to see to finally confirm that that big move is actually a breakout, either upwards or downwards. So as we can see here on the charts, we have been seeing this this rectangular pattern over the last couple of weeks, honestly, at this point, even coming up on the last few months now, that has just kind of annoyed people more than anything. We've just been going sideways for a while, and we haven't seen this level of consolidation in quite some time, realistically. I mean, the last time we did was within our something of a bear market, but I mean, even these growths at this time were 20 to 30%, right? So this overall consolidation of not really going anywhere has gotten a lot of people frustrated. And so what I'm going to be talking about today is why I believe that there is a big move coming, why I truly do believe that that is probably going to happen within the next two or three weeks and then how i'm going to spot whether or not it's an actual breakout or if it's just another fake out like we have seen from these multiple moves up and down okay so with that being said guys let's go ahead and let's figure out why first and foremost that i do believe that there is a breakout or, or a big move coming right so one way for us to kind of anticipate when we're going to see a big move, we can very easily base it off of these different, um, these Bollinger Bands, okay? Now what I mean by that is basically what these bands are going to do are just not going to anticipate whether it's going to go up, whether it's going to go down, but rather whenever we see them start to squeeze in, we can anticipate that there's going to be the squeeze out, which is going to be, of course, price volatility within the markets as price volatility that has happened, you start to see a bigger move. So let me start to give you guys just a few examples, okay? So what I'm going to go ahead and do is on this level, in which we are seeing here this is going to be the bollinger uh, bollinger band width now the bandwidth kind of lets us know is it smaller is it bigger is it smaller is it bigger and then we can anticipate the smaller it gets that it's going to eventually see this big uprise just in simple terms okay so with that let's go ahead and let's take where we are right now and let's just draw a line that's the easiest thing to do let's just draw a line okay now let's look at a few times that we were on or on or around this level and how it reacted to the price so the first one let's kind of just go ahead let's take our brush here and let's just go here okay let's this be the first one okay so as we can see here the price level or, or just the level in which we are at right now is the same in which we were at then now if we do go ahead and if we zoom in a bit we can see that this is a very similar thing we were seeing a little bit of consolidation 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 within this little area and then once we started to see did start the the bandwidth start to reach this level boom we saw that massive uptake in volume and we saw this big swing in volatility which of course was of course bullish in that uh, in that scenario well let's talk about maybe a possible bear scenario okay so let's look we were in this same spot we were consolidating within the same level for quite some time and we could see these bands starting to get smaller and smaller and starting to squeeze into each other and then from there we finally saw the opening up we saw the out squeeze and then from there the price volatility happened as we anticipated leading to a bigger fall so with that again it doesn't show it's going to go up it's going to go down as we can see they started to squeeze together upward movement they started to squeeze together downward movement it doesn't tell us that but what it says is that there is a bigger move coming and we could even see it in a smaller example right here right once we started to reach maybe these levels we can see the bands are starting to get a little bit closer and then we saw that upward or that downward movement that led to that swing volatility in which we were expecting okay so with that being said what we can see is that right now we are approaching that same level in which we would typically have some volatility now there is a possibility that we do sleep under it and that's not what i'm saying i do believe i'm going to give this a few weeks you know i'm anticipating within the next few weeks it happens but as you can see here this whenever it entered this realm it was about september 21st and we didn't see that big swing in, vol swing in volatility until october 22nd so that was a whole month and so that's what i'm giving it a few weeks to a month or so before we see some type of bigger movement so with that being said how am i going to figure out whether or not we're finally going to see a breakout either upwards or downwards out of this little annoying aggravating rectangle in which we've been trapped within or is it just going to be another fake out to the upside or fake out to the downside and then we just end up back in square one frustrated and annoyed
Well, there's a few ways in which we can track support and resistance. There's a few areas of support and resistance that are key indicators on whether or not we are going to be actually confirming an uptrend or confirming a downtrend. And so let's talk about a few of those. So how can we track whether or not this is going to be a downtrend? How can we track whether or not we are confirming that this thing is going down? Sure. Let's go ahead and let's figure this out. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to indicators and we're simply just going to type in EMA. Now we're going to pull up this moving average exponential. You click that and then you go into settings and we type in simply 55 and then make sure your time frame is going to be on the weeklies so this is going to be the very first thing that i'm looking for in order to confirm whether or not we are going to see a downtrend or whether or not we are confirming that we are going to see an uptrend i think that if we do start to fall there is a chance that we're going to see lower 20s mid 20 000 range and so with that it's definitely going to be important to start to confirm one of those movements okay so the first thing that i'm looking at is the short-term resistance or the short-term support sorry which is going to be this 55 week ema so as we can see here the price has generally not closed at all a single time below this 55 week EMA it is tried it's tried it's tried it's tried but it has continuously failed now we are on Friday so hopefully we're going to be looking at a close above this level but as you can see we are slowly creeping towards it right we're slowly creeping towards it and if we don't get any upward momentum that could be a sign that we are looking at a test of it or the surpassing through it now we actually did clear through it this week as we have multiple times in the last couple of weeks but again we didn't close behind it or close under it so with that it still tells me that it's still holding strong but i would say the more times that we do come down and we touch it the weaker it's going to get so we definitely need to pay attention to that if we do see a close below that level that means that short-term support has been broken for the first time in a month and that could, or two months actually and that could be the first sign that we are seeing this downtrend begin so if that is the case and if we do see a fall of that nature well where can we expect it to fall to well i have my second level of support this is my midterm support that if this is also broken then i would start to really anticipate a continuation of a downward fall so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i took my um I took my Fibonacci retracements and I went from the swing high up here from December of 2017 all the way to our swing low down in November of 18. And now I also included my 1.618 Fibonacci extension. You can do that. It's simply if you just go here, if you go into your settings and then you can just enable that, you turn on that arrow. Let's turn this. Uh, let's go. Pink is fine. And then we can kind of see where this level is. Well, my short term support where I truly believe that another level, like kind of like our last fail safe is going to be right here i'm gonna go ahead and get this line drawn and then let's get the price label put on that so what this level is going to be is this is going to be our fibonacci extension in which we have not fallen through since this big rise up in january we have not a single time closed below this level not here not here not here and none of the times in which we have fallen it's been obviously established as support but we have never closed below it okay so what i'm looking to see is if we do lose our 55 week ema can we hold this 1.618 level if we are unable to at that point i will of course start to do some more calculations and start to figure out where this thing is going but that for me confirms that we are now looking at possibly a bear market and that we are going to see a continuation of a downtrend so those are the two things in which i'll look for if we see this thing falling and we don't see any closings under the 55 week ema if we don't see any closings under here i'm not going to get faked out by it i'm not going to say oh my gosh this is the end of the world we're finally starting to fall i would honestly dependent on a few other factors this is still my buying zone roughly right around here anytime we do fall below that that's still my my buying zone and so that's something i would continue to do i did buy here and i bought here and it's worked out for me so far so i'd continue to do that until we start to see a change in momentum or a shift and or pattern break okay so with that being said now that we understand that you know what we need to look for in order to not get faked out on a downtrend because if, if neither one of those happens a downtrend in my opinion is just not confirmed right well let's talk about what it takes for us to see this upward momentum well, the first thing that I'm going to be looking at is something that I'm, you know, I need to see us clear in order to confirm an uptrend is going to be two things. I'm going to actually adjust this to the 55, um, 55 day EMA, which is going to be a good indicator. And then I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to pull up our Gaussian channel. OK, so there's a few things in which I'm looking for right now. Right. First and foremost, I need to see that we can re-enter into our Gaussian channel on the dailies. Now, I know some people don't really like the Gaussian channel on the dailies, but from what I've been, um, observed and analyzed, it actually works pretty well in terms of predicting when we are going to see an uptrend begin, okay? Typically, when we fall under this Gaussian channel on the dailies, until we can start to work our way back into it, we are just continuously falling, right? There is really not much going to say, like, oh, this is an uptrend until we can re-enter. Now, one thing we can see is that we have tried to re-enter a few times, but we have failed 
upheld right at, I mean, right at it, right? So until that time comes, until we can see an entrance back into this Gaussian channel, I would I would go ahead and say, nope, I'm not believing this uptrend. Now, one thing that I do think as well, or, or you know, is pretty good, is the fact that we are expecting a big move upward, and the Gaussian is not very far away, right? I mean, we're looking at just a little increase of what, let's see, about six to seven percent to re-enter into it which would be a fantastic first step because we are seeing that squeeze right we're seeing that squeeze between our our um some of our emas on the bottoms our, our weeklies and then we are seeing that squeeze on our daily emas as well so that's awesome that's a good sign because it does point that we don't have that far to go to enter into it but it is still neutral in which way we break out okay so the ne the reason i think that that's going to be important is let's look at history and let's talk about how it has shown in the past that we are looking at a good chance of starting to see it you know in a continuous uptrend okay so let's go out let's zoom out and let's just talk about a few different examples so as we can see here the first time that we have fallen through it right here this is when we saw a first breakout but we never we didn't see any massive closes we saw many closes outside of it but nothing significant enough to even turn it red but as we can see here even after that once we established support within it that was a good sign that this uptrend was beginning same with this right here we saw this fall through breakthrough but a re-entry almost immediately which led to an upward extension well let's talk about the bear market let's see what we saw in the bear market um the last bear market that we did see um whenever like whenever the pandemic started or whatever this is very many very small bear market okay just a few weeks so what we can see here is that we saw that immediately that immediate fall when everyone saw it i mean this thing was down in the four thousands with increased pressure we started to work our way back up and on the first retest we worked our way in found some support and then continued back upward now it works the same but here's an exception and this is always a possibility and something to monitor i'm not perfect and there you know none of these patterns are perfect so we need to point that out is that we did see this fall here boom consolidation but an immediate shot back up from there, though, this level was a little bit hard to maintain. It was a little bit unrealistic. That was actually going to be our fib retracement. And what that's going to be is if I do take this swing high to the swing low uh, right there, as you can see here, we retested that 786, but we were unable to hold it from there, further losing um, our support, loss support, re-entered back down under here. But as you can see, once we started to re-enter back into it, that was a good sign that we are going to see that uptrend begin. So with that, that is the first thing that I want to see. Like, okay, can we finally go back in, re-enter into our Gaussian channel, and then start to find support within these levels? Because I don't want to just see this. I don't just want to see something like this, right? Let's go here. This isn't good enough for me. Not, not just a straight line upwards. No, I want to see an, a line upwards into it, and then some type of consolidation, some type of finding of support on our line here, or on our line here, and actually show that we can hang in that level, and then we start to work our way back upwards. That's going to be very important. If we're able to do that, the second area in which I would like to see us close um, above is going to be the 55-day EMA, which is, of course, going to be that blue line in which we can see right now, right? The first time that we did see that big upper swing, we did see that this relative area next to the 55-day EMA has served as resistance, and I think that if we can enter back into our Gaussian channel, that if we are able to then clear our 55-day EMA, that would be a great sign that we can find some type of confirmation, especially if we do break above it, say it does this, and we do that, if we can break above it retest find support and then start to work our way back up that's a good sign as well okay if we don't see e any of that happen right like if we start to see a big move and let's let's delete a few of these things if we see a big move happen right where it looks something like let's get this pull back up something like this where we go here and then we come straight back right or if we go here and we come straight back and we don't see any of the things in which we talked about happen today well realistically i'm not gonna buy it in terms of okay we're going down or we're going up those are the things i'm looking for to finally confirm are we going down are we going up and then i'll start to base my trades investments and my buys off of that final confirmation i'm the type of person i either buy in zones saying i'll only buy in this zone because that's the zone i want to buy in for a few different reasons like this is my buy zone right here for the most part so right here anytime it would dip into this level which was here and then here that's when i would be buying i either buy in zones i buy on confirmations i confirm okay we entered the gaussian channel we found support we cleared the 55 day ema now i'm in okay without those type of things i'm just not buying because i like to live in peace okay i like to live in peace knowing my money's not in the market right now or my extra cash isn't in the market right now and i didn't buy something just because i got emotional that eventually led to a fall back down to this rectangle okay so with that being said don't get faked out if we see this big 
big move happen and we don't start to see it actually clear any of these levels break through that support if we don't see any of that happening there's no need to freak out let's just pay attention let's watch closely let's see what it does and then we'll start to base some trades off of that when the time is finally here so with that being said guys i will let you know that if you do want access to all of this information early if you want access to daily live streams in which i do this type of technical analysis and much more go down to the link in the description go check out the patreon that's where it's fully available for every single patreon member but with that being said that is going to be about it for today's video and i hope you guys did enjoy of course if you did you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new i post on the channel one to two times every single day and i go live every single day with our new gym finder series we're already on episode 24 it's growing amazingly we're finding some absolutely fantastic cryptos and i hope to see you all there very very soon peace